Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Massive Chess Game from the History of Chess by Paul Charles Morphy from 1863 and today is the big day. Today is the birthday of Paul Morphy and his opponent is Jules de River. He was one of the leading chess players at the time and probably the strongest French chess master in 1860s. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Uh, for Paul Morphy's birthday, of course, this is a special chess game, a massive chess game. So Paul Morphy starts the game with e4 as he is playing with the white pieces, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and we have the Italian game, bishop to c5, Gioco piano, c3 by Paul Morphy, not b4. So Paul Morphy is planning to play d4, queen to e7, d4, bishop back, and Morphy castled d6, h3, simply not allowing bishop to g4, knight to f6, rook to e1, h6, a4, by Paul Morphy charging from the queen side. It looks intimidating, so pushing the pawn, making space for the bishop, knight to a3, knight to d8. Well, of course, in this position, if something like bishop to e6, then d5. And this is forking two pieces and this is losing on the spot. So black is ready for another game. So this is why in this position knight goes back and knight to c2. Bishop to e6 finally developing the bishop but Paul Morphy is placing his knight in a perfect spot. Bishop takes on c4, knight takes on c4 and then knight to d7 and knight to e3, g6 by Deriver. Deriver would also like to castle, but in this position, if castling, then knight to f5, and this knight is an octopus knight, and this is causing huge headache for black. Okay, so in this position, this is why, probably this is why Deriver pushed the g-pawn, not allowing knight to f5. But this time, well, when you have a superior position, when you have a flexible position, a perfect position, you have other alternatives. So Paul Morphy's second alternative for the knight. Knight to d5. And this is also a juicy square for the knight. So black is defending the queen. That's attacking the queen. There are not so many safe spots for the queen. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Paul Morphy played a very attractive move. A beautiful move. What would you do in this position? Let me give you a few seconds to pause the video. If you need, you can also pause the video. The next move of Paul Morphy is not the most obvious move to find. So if you can read, if you can see the next move, if you are ready, try to see the next move of Paul Morphy. Well, did you see? Bishop takes on h6, the bishop sacrifice, and actually this is winning a pawn, because black can't take the bishop, and Paul Morphy didn't miss the important tactic. Paul Morphy was amazing when it comes to spot the tactics. So in this position, the river didn't capture the bishop, and he desperately pushed the pawn, but in this position, Let's check out what happens if capturing the bishop, then knight to g5. And where is the queen going? Nowhere. This is trapping the queen, and this is beautiful. So Paul Morphy saw that. He didn't miss that, which was not the most obvious move to see. And he captured the pawn. Bishop takes on h6. And we can easily say that black is losing this because Paul Morphy is a pawn up. f6. And now defending the bishop and attacking the rook. So black was also defending on g5, defending the rook. And it looks like Paul Morphy's bishop is trapped. Well, Morphy pushed the pawn, g4. And where is the rook going? Well, the river captured the pawn, rook takes on h3. And then knight takes on f6, stunning tactics by Paul Morphy. Knight takes on f6 and then knight to g5. This is forking the queen and the rook. 
queen to d7. But in this position, you might wonder what happens if queen takes on g4, then exchanging the queens, and then capturing the rook. And in this position, if queen to e7, then simply bishop takes on f6, queen takes on f6, and then knight takes on h3. And that's all she wrote for black. White has the exchange, and white uh, is a pawn up, so this is also losing. After knight to g5, defending the queen, and Paul Morphy simply captured the knight. Bishop takes on f6, Paul Morphy is a pawn up, rook back defending the rook, and attacking the pawn maybe that's a threat. So pushing the pawn f3, and capturing the pawn, capturing back, and Morphy is perfectly safe. And after the smoke, he has the superior position and he's a pawn up. Rook back, king up. Morphy simply wants to swing his rook on h1 and exchange the rooks. Knight to f7, rook to h1. And after thinking card, derivative plate, knight takes on g5. But if capturing the rook, then queen takes on h1 and this is a deadly attack for white. Not right now, but if capturing the knight, then queen to h8. And that's losing. And also queen to h7 is a threat. And in this position, black doesn't have a good defense. So in this position, if queen to h7 also threatening checkmate, queen to g8, I believe is checkmate. So this is a losing position for black. This is why in this position, giving up the exchange for surviving. Rook takes on h6 by Paul Morphy. Knight to h7 and we have queen to h1 by Morphy attacking the knight how to defend well knight takes on f6 but this time checking the king and then capturing the rook and Morphy has two rooks for two minor pieces and also he's a pawn up so this is a losing battle for the river but the game is not over yet. Bishop takes on d4. Queen to h6. The queen is coming. So that's a very dangerous attack. Making space for the king. And grabbing the open file. Maybe queen to c2 check is a threat. But Morphy is not allowing that. Rook to c1. And also Morphy is defending his rook with his queen. So queen to b6. And what would you do in this position again? Can you see the best move for white. Which move is the best move? Well, in this position, Paul Morphy is not wasting any time and he's smashing in with the rook. Rook takes on c7, what a shot by Morphy. We have king to e6, not capturing the rook. This is sacrificing the whole rook. And as you can see, Paul Morphy is amazing when it comes to spot tactics. He is not missing anything. So if queen takes on c7, then checking the king, king to e6, and simply capturing the queen. So this is losing the queen. Okay, so in this position, king to e6. And now can you see the move? <laughs> well, there is actually force checkmate in three moves. And Morphy didn't miss that. Well, first, Paul Morphy checks the king, rook to e8, knight takes rook, queen takes pawn, queen takes on g6, king to e5, and queen to f5, checkmate. Morphy really did checkmated his opponent on the board. Unbelievable. They were, didn't resign, and he got checkmated. What a game by Paul Morphy. His brain was working like a computer, but in this position, only for entertainment if blocking with the bishop then queen to f5 check mate and if blocking with the knight queen to f5 check mate there is no defense for black what an incredible ferocious attack by paul morphy his brain was indeed working like a computer and he didn't miss any tactics so this was the chess game of paul morphy well, there are many key moments in this chess game, and I hope you have seen the key moves. So in the real chess game, in the actual game, 
they were played king to e5 and Paul Morphy checkmated his opponent, queen to f5, checkmate. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess games uh, from the chess history. There are not so many chess games left of Paul Morphy in the database, but maybe I can remake some of the old chess games of Paul Morphy. But of course, there are still few chess games to show that I have never uh, demonstrated on this channel and after those games maybe I can remake some of the old chess games of Paul Morphy that I did uh, especially back in 2019 to 2021 because those games had very poor sound quality so I believe I can remake those chess games uh, so sometimes you can uh, even if I can uh, finish the chess game series of Paul Morphy I can remake some of them so some of the classics and beautiful ones uh, in the chess career of Paul Morphy. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Did you ever see this chess game before? Probably not. So <laughs> take care and bye bye. And of course, before forgetting, once again, happy birthday to Paul Morphy. Bye bye. <laughs>